What up folks, it's Theo here from Rex Bowling Ball Reviews and today we're doing a bowling ball review of the Motive Primal Shock and I'm here with Chad Reefer. He's been on Motive for around uh, seven years? Yeah, seven or eight years now. So. All right, so today we're bowling here at Rockford uh, Bowling Center here in uh, Rockford, Michigan. You know, thank you, Corey Brown, for helping us out, getting us all set up. Um, so also, um, with our bowling ball review, right, we're going to be doing a, a little bit of a different thing here. right? So Chad has a couple of his, uh, two different layouts. I got one, it's one of my basic layouts, 50 by 5 by 45, just puts the pin up above the middle finger, right? Something that I've used on a lot of my equipment. Um, I'm gonna be comparing it to the Venom Shock as well as the Venom Coral. Now, Chad, tell me a little bit about your layouts and what you're looking to achieve and what you're also gonna be comparing the ball to today. Yeah, so I actually have two Primal Shocks with me today, uh, both of them at out of box finish. Uh, my primary one, which I've gotten quite a few games, had a couple of honor scores already with. Uh, it's my pretty standard layout, similar numbers to you, about 60 by 5 by 40, puts the pin up right on my bridge, pretty stacked up CG. Uh, it's a strong overall reaction for me. I really like the shape out of that. I actually drilled a second one uh, using similar numbers, kind of reversed, actually went about 40 by 5 by 60, puts the pin actually underneath my fingers. So that gives me a little bit more of a controlled reaction just to utilize the cover in the core. Um, blend it out a little bit more for me so if I don't want to give away the three pin with my stronger one I can kind of control the layout with the pin down. Nice so yeah Chad he's been throwing motive stuff for a long time so it's gonna be really really interesting to kind of hear his feedback and um, I've recently started drilling a lot of motive stuff it's been matching up really well pushing to two hands I seem like the motive stuff is just pretty clean and it has a really predictable back end motion, which I really, really enjoy. So, and uh, don't forget to just click that subscribe button, guys. Once we hit 30,000 subscribers, we're doing another giveaway. And it's gonna be another bowling ball, another t-shirt, and uh, also a bowling bag. So, three goodies, right? Can't beat that. All right, so let's throw some shots and uh, let's see what they're all about. All right, so first we're gonna have my basic pinup primal shock. This is kind of turned into my all purpose benchmark type ball. Uh, it's honestly the first out of my bag. Uh, it's a layout that's worked for me on a lot of different stuff, even one of my favorites, which is a Primal Rage. So this is just going to be kind of strong overall. I'm going to see it up front, and we're going to see it shape down late. So it's just a ball that I know I can trust. It blends out, but it still gives me some strength. Let's me play a few different shapes and just really get lined up on just about anything. So. going to be my pin down primal shock so similar numbers as the pin up so it's going to read the lane in a similar spot but it's just going to give me a more controlled break point down lane a little less hook overall so this is going to be about a three board move right with my feet a little bit straighter up the lane instead of giving away the head pin See similar break point up front, just a lot smoother down lane. So it just gives me a lot more control when I don't want to shape it as much, especially on fresh flatter patterns too.
All right, guys, so I want to do a quick little segment on uh, some really cool bowling products from DH Lab. Pick that up. Let's see, we've got one here with your casters to spin it around. You got another one here without it. What I like about this, you get in a rush, you're laying out a bowling ball or working on a surface, you forget to pick it up and move it around. Guess what? No scratches. Yeah, it's one of the best parts about it. You can pick that up really quick. Yep, so you can see the design here, right? So it's got the little bearings and the spinners, right? There's no damage to the ball. And you can even have your own custom designs, which is amazing. So go online, use the discount code below in the video. Uh, T-Rex, get 10% off on your first DH Lab order if you haven't purchased one yet. All right, and those new uh, Venoms look pretty good with those. <laughs> All right, so for my Primal Shock, right, five inch pin up, really basic, right? So compared to my Venom Shock, my Venom Shock is gonna go a lot longer, right, than this ball. This ball's gonna pick up a little bit more in the mid lane, be a little bit more aggressive, right, on the fresh, this is the ball I would go to, and then I'd switch over to my Venom Shock later in the transition, right? So let's get left, they're hooking a little bit. Let's throw it out to the dry and see what she does. That was some sick motion right there. So that ball is going to be really good on the fresh. I'm going to throw it a lot in league. I'm going to love it. And I'm uh, looking forward to throwing it more. All right, guys, there you have it. There's the bowling ball review of the Motive Primal Shock. So, Chad, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you see, it's a ball that gives you a lot of versatility, especially on the fresh patterns. Uh, just allows you to kind of find your comfort zone on the lane. You know, whether we were playing a little bit straighter and closer to the drive with the pin low, or once we started to see the track low and we kind of moved in and shaped it a little bit. Uh, very versatile core and cover. It's responded well to me to different cover changes, different hand position tweaks so we could really stay in that ball for a long time before we got into the Primal Rage, the Venom Shock, uh, the Black Venom as well. What'd you see? So from the Primal Shock, for me, um, it picked up a lot more in the mid lane than my Venom Shock, right? So I had to get pretty far left. Um, I just like to kind of get around it, right? And let the ball see the friction. Um, this ball is gonna be really good on a variety, variety of different patterns. Um, I think with some different surface changes, it'll also be really, really good. Um, I also showed you guys the Venom Coral. Venom Coral is kind of in between that Venom Shock and the Primal Shock, right? So yeah, I mean, great piece to add to the bag. What do you think? Absolutely. All yeah. right, well, thanks again, guys. And you know, Chad, thanks again for stopping by. Yeah. And we're gonna have Chad and some uh, more bowling ball reviews coming up soon, so stay tuned, guys. And thank you, Motor Bowling, for uh, providing us with this amazing bowling ball. All right, peace out, guys. Thanks, Rockford Lanes. Thanks, Theo. Appreciate Thanks, Corey Brown. <laughs>